After over 40 years in space, Voyager 1 has a cool story to tell. It was only supposed to last five years, but it blew past that. Now, it spotted 300 weird things floating out there. This discovery is a big deal because these things seem to be leftovers from old star explosions. Let's check out what Voyager 1 found. Back in the day, we could only study stuff in our solar system. Now, thanks to Voyager, we're getting info from way beyond. Voyager 1 officially left our solar system in August 2012. But it wasn't easy getting there. The further it got from the sun, the less power it had for its stuff. The spacecraft gets power from these generators that turn heat from plutonium into electricity. But these generators are getting weaker, so there's less power overall. This means some instruments and systems are being turned off to save energy. Eventually, they'll have to shut down important parts to keep it going longer. It may not be active for much longer. But even now, it's giving us great info. The huge distance makes it hard to keep in touch. The signal gets weaker as it travels further. It takes over 21 hours for a message to reach us. The weak signal, plus interference from space, makes sending data tough. Also, the change in temperature from inside to outside the solar system is huge. It's way colder out there now. Voyager 1 has detectors to measure stuff in space. However, communicating with Voyager 1 has become tough, and there are fewer chances to communicate than in previous years. Still, something fascinating happened. Voyager 1 picked up something odd, 300 unknown objects. This has scientists scratching their heads. Are these pieces of old space stuff, leftovers from distant stars, or something totally new? Normally, Voyager's data is easy to read. But this time, it was like it was coded, which raised a lot of questions. What's weird is that Voyager 1 kept working fine, even with the strange data. The signal was good, so NASA kept getting the info. And none of the safety systems went off, so it wasn't in danger. So, what caused the weird data? Could it be space radiation messing things up? Or is it something completely new? They had to check everything out. NASA looked at all the parts, thinking about how space radiation could hurt the electronics and how the cold could mess up the sensors, they checked the spacecraft's computers, data systems, radios, etc. Some people wondered if something happened right before Voyager left the solar system that screwed up the data, it wasn't located in an area of any space anomalies. The team also checked the communication systems for problems. They looked at every possible cause. It took weeks. They used special tools and ran simulations to figure out what was wrong. And they found the issue. After months, NASA was able to get clear data again. The problem was with the system that controls the spacecraft's direction, AACS. An old, and used computer on board had turned on and started messing with the data. But the rest of Voyager's equipment was fine. To fix it, engineers sent commands to Voyager 1 to switch back to normal. It was pretty simple but it took a lot of time because of the distance to Voyager, all the steps were planned. Each message took nearly 22 hours to send and receive. Here's a fun fact, Voyager 1 was built a long time ago. So, to fix this problem, engineers had to dig up old manuals from the 1970s. They found an easy solution and got the data working again without damaging anything else. The engineers did an amazing job getting Voyager 1 back on track. Their work shows how important it is to combine old knowledge with new tech. Engineers think the computer switch was probably caused by a faulty command from another system. They're keeping an eye on things. The mission leaders are optimistic that this doesn't put the long-term mission at risk. Once fixed, the spacecraft continued the journey with consistent data. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. As Voyager 1 goes further out, its discoveries are big news. Those 300 objects, probably plasma clouds from supernovas, have scientists excited. These clouds, which are what's left after stars blow up, tell us about our cosmic history. Scientists want to study them to learn how stuff moves around the galaxy, how stars die, and how new star systems are made. This mission proves that Voyager 1 is not just an old thing. It's still teaching us about space. Even though it's old, 
its equipment keeps working because of good energy management and the hard work of the team. Every piece of data it sends back is incredible. What makes it even cooler is the golden record on board. It's like a message in a bottle with sounds and images from Earth. It has greetings in different languages, music, and sounds like a baby crying and ocean waves. This idea, from Carl Sagan, is more than science. It shows how creative and caring humans are, and how we want to connect with the universe. Scientists are getting ready for the end of Voyager 1's mission. Its power is running out and may only last a few more years. By 2030, most of the equipment will probably shut down. But Voyager 1 will keep drifting, carrying our story. Voyager 1 tells us that exploration isn't just about finding things. It's about making an impact. It shows us that learning is always worth it, no matter how far away the destination is. So, let's hope Voyager 1 sends us more messages, and let's be thankful for what it's taught us and how it inspires us to dream. Voyager 1 has been zipping through space for over 40 years, and it's still sending back cool stuff. It was only supposed to last like 5 years, but it blew past that. Now, it spotted 300 weird things floating around out there. Turns out, they might be leftovers from massive star explosions from ages ago. Pretty wild, huh? Before Voyager, we were stuck studying our own solar system. Now, we're getting info from way, way out there. Voyager 1 crossed the edge of our solar system back in 2012. But it hasn't been a cakewalk. As it got farther from the sun, power became a real issue. It runs on these plutonium generators, which are slowly losing juice. So, they've had to turn off some stuff to save power. Eventually, they'll have to shut down important systems to keep it going as long as possible. It's probably not going to last forever, but it's still useful. The distance is a pain, too. The signal is super weak, and it takes over 21 hours for messages to get to us. Cosmic background noise doesn't help either. Plus, the temp change from inside our solar system to outside is huge. Voyager 1 has dust detectors to check out space particles. But with the power issue, it's harder to talk to it. NASA's using its big antennas to catch the signals, but we can't communicate as often as we used to. But get this. It just sent back data about 300 strange objects. Scientists are scratching their heads. Are they from old cosmic stuff? Pieces of other solar systems? Something totally new. The data was all garbled, which was odd. But Voyager 1 kept working fine. The signal was steady, and it sent the messed up data to NASA. Even weirder, none of its safety systems kicked in, so it wasn't under attack. So what's up with the weird transmissions? Could it be space radiation? Or something we've never seen before? The only thing to do was check everything. NASA looked at all the parts, thinking about how radiation could mess with the electronics or how the cold could wreck the sensors. Maybe something happened right before Voyager left our solar system that scrambled things. But it wasn't in an area known for that kind of interference, which makes this theory improbable. They also looked at the communication systems, checking for static or changes in direction. They went over every possibility. It took weeks to figure out. They used fancy tools and ran simulations to find the problem. It was the only way to solve the puzzle, and it finally worked. After months of decoding, NASA got clear data again. The problem was the Attitude and Articulation Control System, or AACS. Turns out, the AACS started using a computer that wasn't supposed to be on. It had been sitting dormant for years, and that's what messed up the data. But the rest of Voyager was fine, still getting data. The engineers jumped on it, sending commands to get the AACS back on the right system. It was risky, but they had to do it. Each message took almost a full day to get there and back, so they had to be careful. Here's the crazy part, Voyager 1 is ancient. So, to fix this modern problem, they had to dig up old 70s manuals. Which they did, locating a solution to restore the data relay system without affecting its components. The team's hard work paid off big time. It showed how important it is to mix old knowledge with new tech to keep these missions running. The engineers think another system probably sent a bad command that turned on the wrong computer. 
that could mean there's a bigger issue hiding somewhere. The people in charge are staying positive, saying this doesn't threaten the mission. After the fix, Voyager 1 went back to sending data like normal. Anyway that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like and consider subscribing as it is very helpful. As Voyager 1 keeps trucking through deep space, its discoveries are a big deal. Those 300 weird blobs confirm that space contains plasma clouds from supernovae, and have caused everyone to ask what else might be out there. These plasma clouds could tell us how matter moves around the galaxy, how stars die, and how new star systems are made. It just goes to show that Voyager 1 isn't just an antique. It's still finding new things and changing how we see space. Even though it's old, it's still one of the coolest things we've ever built. Its instruments are outdated, its instruments continue working because of how the power is allocated and due to the support team's commitment. Every bit of data it sends back is amazing. It's like a little voice calling to us from billions of miles away. And, there's the golden record. It's like a time capsule with sounds and pictures from Earth, made for aliens to find someday. It has greetings in tons of languages, music from Beethoven to Chuck Berry, and sounds like babies crying and ocean waves. It's purpose it to show any potential aliens that we existed. Eventually, Voyager 1 will run out of juice. They think it'll last a few more years. By 2030, most of the instruments will be off. But it'll keep floating through space, carrying our message to the stars. Voyager 1 reminds us that exploring is about more than just finding stuff. It's about making an impact. It shows us that trying to understand things is always worth it. So, as we wait for the next message from Voyager 1, let's be grateful for what it's taught us and how it inspires us to look up at the sky and dream.